Okay. What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start yet, y'all. The ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. New year, man. Another new year. Um, this I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This this year flew by fast as hell. <laughs> I feel like it was just yesterday. I was bringing in twenty twenty two, man. Um, I I don't I don't know I don't know what's going on. But anyway. So I wanted to, because I feel like I can't really repeat everything I've already been saying because I've said it before. I wanted to do a, a, a little reaction to a New Year video that I did. When did I do it? Hold on, let me see. I did this. Uh, let me make this a little bigger for y'all. I did this 2018, damn near four, what, four? Yeah, it, actually it is four years ago. Yeah, about, about you know, a couple more days been about ten. Damn, damn, bro. That's crazy, man. Time flies when you have a fun, y'all. Time flies when you have a fun. Let me let me let me make this at even 60. <laughs> if y'all click, let me matter of fact, make sure I put the link at the top. Of course, y'all know how I like to do. Let me make that an even 60. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I, I really wanted to cover this video, man, because it's already things that I've already been saying and I and I live by to this day. And I'm gonna keep on living it, man. Um, we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna have some fun, man. We're gonna have some fun doing this. Let's have some fun. This 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 is about to be good. First of all, I would like to say, uh, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Before I even get to all that, I'm gonna talk to y'all real quick. I just wanted to make this video and talk about a few things with y'all, man. Like being thankful to be alive to see another year. Be thankful. Another thing, go after what you want, man. Stop waiting on some stupid ass New Year's resolution or whatever just to try to better yourself. Stop waiting. Do it now. I want y'all to spend your money wiser and most importantly, make better decisions. Me personally, I was never a fan of that whole new year, new me nonsense, man. It, it's, it's To me, I feel like it's stupid to be real with you. Facts. <laughs> I'm still not a fan of it. I think it's dumb as hell. Oh, it's a new year, new me. Then live by it for like a week and a half, two weeks and get right back to the old you. That's, that's so stupid. I, I never understood like, why do you have to wait for it to be a new year for you to get your stuff together or for you to leave your cheating ass spouse? I don't get it, man. Why you gotta wait till the new year? Why you why you couldn't do it now? I get it, I get it. Sometimes, you know, you gotta wait for the right moment to strike. All right, that's cool, I get it. But once you figure out exactly what you want to do, do it now, man. I got a home girl that hit me up uh, a while back, back in like September, October. She's talking about, oh, I can't wait for the new year. I'm gonna lose all this weight. And I'm going to get right. I'm going to go and get a membership at the gym. Blah, 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 blah. Starting <laughs> January 1st. I look at her. I'm just like, bro, why you got to wait two or three months before you start losing your weight? Why you can't do it now, man? Why you waiting? Like, for what? For what? Yeah. It doesn't make no sense. It's crazy because I used to always tell her, bro, I'm about to hit the gym, man. Come with me. Come through. This, that, the third, blah, blah, blah. She always gave 100 excuses. And all of a sudden, oh, okay, I'm going to wait two, three months from now when the New Year's hit. And then that's when I'm going to start losing weight. No, man, that don't, that don't make no sense. But anyway, yeah. be thankful for what you have, man. No matter how little it is or how much it is, just be thankful. Today, I really feel like people confuse this once with needs. It's the holidays, so you already know it's about to be a whole lot of them sales and clearances going on. I know I know Black Friday passed, Cyber Monday, and all the other crap that be going on. I understand. My homeboy hit me up a while back talking about, bro, let's go Black Friday shopping, bro, man. They got all these crazy deals. Man, look. I'll be damned if you had me standing outside in some cold ass weather so I can save $10 or some 4K television. I ain't got time for that. Do y'all know how cold it gets in Florida? We talking low 50s, high 40s, man. Got me shivering just think about it. I can't do it. And them crowded ass stores and long lines, max not. Bro, I need help. <laughs> yeah. My little credit cards. Uh, anyway, let's keep moving. I ain't gonna tell y'all what to do with your money because most of y'all watching this is grown, but just pay attention. I want y'all to appreciate the little things in life. What I mean by that is stop focusing on what you don't have and focus on what you do have. As I said earlier, man, you have life, you have time to live your life, and hopefully you have people that's around you that truly love you. I'm not saying be out here thinking everything is perfect the way it is. No, I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is be more appreciative of the things that you have and the people that you have around you. I got friends that's constantly wasting money on nonsense, man. Expensive shoes, electronics, all that, bro. And I, I say that to say this. Sometimes it doesn't matter what we have. It just never seems like it's enough. Me included, I do it too. We always want more. We always want a better phone when ain't nothing wrong with the one we got. 
We always want a bigger TV when the one we got in the house working just fine. We always want a more expensive car fully loaded with crap when in actuality, man, a car is just supposed to get you from point A to point B. Be grateful for what you got, cuz. That's all I'm trying to say. One of my favorite rappers today is Plies, man. He he said something so real way back on one of his mixtapes. Had to be one of the realest things I ever heard in my life, man. This man says, and excuse my cursing, this man says, when you ask sleeping on the flow, you tend to have different dreams. We grow up without shit, you wish for different things. And that's real. When I was growing up, you know, I got picked on a lot because I was poor. Hey, shout out to Plies, man. Shout out to <laughs> Plies, the realest, man. Hey, listen, Plies still one of my favorite rappers. Plies, J. Cole, all, all of them boys. Man, listen, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going in. This is the thing that, um, damn, that was a fire-ass mixtape, too. You need people like me, too. Damn, I'm going to I'm gonna have to jump. I'm going to have to jam that thing when I, get, when I start driving to, back to the house, man. Listen. Yes. And it's crazy because... Right. I've always had this mindset for I don't know how many years, uh, but I've always had this mindset, bro. Like I, I didn't have anything growing up. I was broke as hell. The little few things that we did have, I was grateful for it. I was grateful for it, which is one of the reasons why, bro, listen, a lot of the things that I have now, stuff I've had for a very, very long time, stuff that I've had for years. Y'all see me always wearing these damn shirts. I've had these damn Nike shirts and jackets. Um, I don't even know how long. I want to say three, four years, if not more. If not more, my, my phone, my phone by damn near three and a half. I want to say I got my phone right after COVID had first started. 2019, 2020, it's 2022 now, well, 20, about to be 2023. So going on three years. I don't know why people be so goddamn materialistic and doing all this, that, and the third. Bro, I don't I don't care about none of that, bro. I still play on my Nintendo Switch. I bought it when it was what? 20 when it first came out 2016, 2017. I'm going on five, six years now. Still, still got it. A lot of my shoes, a lot of my a lot of my clothes just in general is a lot of things that I've had for many, many years. I take care of a little bit of things that I've had because I put value in my stuff. I value my little couple of dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think I'm working these two jobs for, for nothing, hell no. But let me know what I said wrong, y'all. So far. <laughs> and, oh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had the most and, and, and <laughs> I didn't even realize how small my beard was. I'm looking at it now. That's why I keep looking. I'm looking like, like <laughs> my beard is so damn small, man. I don't know. I, I might I might go back to the old beard look. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's up. Expensive shoes. I had the most expensive clothes. You know, it happens. It is what it is. I ain't start having name brand clothes until I want to say when I got my first job. I think maybe 14, maybe 15. And like Clyde said, we grow up without stuff. You wish for different things. When I was younger, man, I always wished for dumb things like name brand stuff, electronic games, all that, man. Ignoring the fact that no matter how many Nikes I could have had or how many places the games I could have played, none of that would have put food in my stomach or right. keep the lights on in my house forever thankful man always be grateful for what you have but that being said what you do have may not be much to you but it's a lot to someone that don't got nothing always remember man, there's always people out here that's doing worse than you so why are you over it's been harder than i thought oh these ass now that gone. i still let your ass play but i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do all right. let me, let me, let, let's get back over here talking about oh i got it so hard my life is so miserable pay attention y'all just like how you watching me right now on your phone or your laptop computer or whatever just know there's some people out here that ain't even got that to watch me on that's crazy like i said earlier man i grew up poor as hell man but you know like tupac said mama made miracles every thanksgiving <laughs> to this day I, I never knew how my mom did it man like it'll be crazy bro like we had no food the day before you know what i'm saying like thanksgiving eve or christmas eve or whatever we would have no food in the house and if we wake up the next day and it'll be food everywhere we, me and my sister look at each other like man where all this food came from i never forget man i was in elementary young as hell man like me and my sister we woke up to the smell of you know turkeys ham stuffing all that me and my sister we look at each other like man where that smell coming from we run in the kitchen we see food everywhere we'll be so eager to eat man like it was crazy me and my me and my sister would run to my mom and you know of course my mom she'll be sleeping in the room because she just got done cooking for like the last eight or ten hours so she'd be knocked out she did all that just to make sure that you know we would have a thanksgiving meal the next day or a christmas meal that next day moments like that i will always cherish because there was times, you know what I'm saying, we ain't have a holiday. There was times we ain't have a birthday. There was times we ain't get gifts. So for that one year, we did have a Christmas or a birthday or a Thanksgiving. Or for that one night, we didn't go to bed hungry. I cherish all those memories. All of them.
Now that I'm older, I feel so stupid about the things I used to do and say. I used to be upset that, you know what I'm saying, we used to have to wash our clothes in the bathtub. But at least we never went to school with dirty clothes. I used to be upset eating Vienna sausages with hot sauce and crackers. But at least we wouldn't sleep with food in our stomach. I used to be mad that I used to have to give majority of my checks to my mom to help her with the rent or the bills. But at least I had a bed to lay my head on and a roof above it. In life, I, I feel like we always look at what's wrong with the picture instead of just enjoying its beauty. In life, we look at a cup of Hennessy as half empty when we should see it as half full. In life, we always looking at somebody else that's doing better than us and comparing ourselves to their life. Not knowing that that person probably a drug addict. Not knowing that person probably abusive. Like, you don't know these people, man. You over here comparing yourself to somebody else talking about, oh, goals, goals. Man, get out of here, bro. Because with all that being said, even though I struggled growing up, I remember having neighbors that was in the hood that was next to me doing worse than I was. I had homeboys and homegirls going to school with uh -huh. I want to just run this thread straight through without even stopping y'all, but I, I, <laughs> facts. I'm very appreciative of the small little things that I have. And it's crazy how this, I did this video in 2018, right? Damn near four years ago. It's crazy how literally three years Prior, I want to say three years, 2015, 2014, three years prior to that, we was damn homeless. Sleeping in cars, sleeping in friends' houses, sleeping on park benches. And to go from that to now this, to where, this as in where I am now, bro, it speaks volumes. In my opinion. And I'm very happy to be where I am today. It may not be much to a lot, um, to, to everybody else, man, but to me, this is everything. Y'all heard what I said. I used to wash my clothes in a goddamn bathtub. Ring them out, me and my sister, I go this way, my sister going the other way, and we squeeze that thing out together. Hang it up somewhere in the goddamn house or outside or whatever. We couldn't really hang it outside because people still. We, we, we lived in the hood. <laughs> Man, I hang no damn clothes outside that's freshly washed. Oh, yeah, somebody definitely going get to get, get, come up off of that. Ring our clothes out. Hang them up. Hope to God that they dry by the morning. <laughs> but that's the way it was. We ain't have money to wash clothes. Damn sure I have money to dry them. We barely have money for food. Eating Vienna sausages, hot dogs, and pork and beans. Call them beanie weenies. Yeah. Oh, I'm from that. Plenty of times, the only thing we had was rice and beans. For days and for weeks until them damn food stamp card hit. And that's if we was able to get food stamps that month. Yeah, y'all know how government assisted like, 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 you know, picking and choosing what when they want to help and not help. I come from the struggle, ladies and y'all, y'all fellas soup. I came from that section eight housing, all of that. Like I said in this video, I ain't started wearing damn name brands up until I got my first my first legal job, I should say, around 14, 15 years old. And I bought my first pair of like Nikes. I bought my first pair of Ralph Lauren, Jordans, and all this, that, and the third. And I don't know if I said it in this story. I, may, I, I mean, I don't know if I said it in this video. I may have said it in another video, but I will never forget. I saved for three months in the summer. I saved up like however much I saved. I can't remember. And of course I was paying bills and stuff like that. So every time uh, I would spend my money on bills, I would put the rest straight into my savings account. I emptied my savings account just to buy clothes so I could look fresh as hell uh, the next school year. My first day of school, I swear to God, I will never forget this. My first day of school, first day of school, got to the lunchroom. I'm fresh as hell. I'm I'm wearing, I'm Jordan out. I'm talking about Jordan headband, Jordan wristband, Jordan shirt, jeans, shoes, Jordan socks, everything. I had all the girls looking at me like, man, who is, who is that, man? What the praise? Who that boy? Got to the lunch line. My free lunch ain't kick in yet. All right, cool, Santa. Let me dig in my pocket. Nothing in there. Let me look at my wallet. Nothing in there. Try to swipe my little debit card. Declined. I was fresh as hell, but I sat there with a goddamn empty stomach, and my stomach growled the whole damn day. I couldn't eat anything until I got home. 
And I thought to myself, I and I felt so damn stupid. And that was about, I want to say 15, 16. I say all that to say this, yo, me, let, let, let me say before the end of the video, because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, say, say too much. Let me say it towards the end. Dirty clothes, holes in their shoes, you know, teeth ain't been brushing, who knows how long. We may have had it hard, but it made me thankful for the little things in life. Yeah. What really did it for me as far as being thankful, man, when I was, I think, I think I'm going to say high school or maybe a freshman in college. I, th I think I was in high school. I can't remember. But anyway, the lowest point of my life, y'all, was when I was living in shelters, sleeping in cars, you know what I'm saying? You know, sleeping at my whoever friend's house, you know, that they would let us sleep there for the night or for the week or whatever. Like, that was the lowest point of my life. Going from shelter to shelter, motel to motel, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it, it, it was rough, man. But you know we got through it it really opened up my eyes about like the true value of a dollar because like i said i didn't have name brand crap until i started working but when i did have those nikes or those jordans or those ralph lauren hey none of that crap made me feel full none of that crap gave me a ride to work none of that crap put five dollars in my gas tank like it's insane what i did and how much i spent on that crap man just just to realize that it doesn't mean anything everything that glitters ain't gold y'all and i can tell you you may not think you have much like i did but when i was living in them shelters or the motels i can tell you from experience there's always going to be someone that's doing worse than you or got less than you always i didn't do this video to bring anybody down or none of that crap like that's not my style i'm not on that no that's not what i'm doing my purpose of doing this video is just to make sure that everybody is aware of what they're doing sometimes we do things and we don't know that we're doing them I don't want I don't want y'all to be upset this new year just because you couldn't afford to buy the new expensive ass iPhone. So what, man? Settle for the generation that came out before. It's just as good. Mm -hmm. So what? You couldn't get in a relationship with that one guy or one girl you've been trying to get with for the last two semesters. Oh well, man, that's they lost. So what? Did you come buy that sixty-five inch television and walk your ass back in that store and settle for the fifty-five inch? To tell you the truth, it's the same size. To be real with you, especially when you cut it up with a little baby, man. All inches you gonna be one hundred. Think about this. And anyway, y'all, happy new year. <laughs> All that good stuff. I wish y'all the best. And please remember, man, for 2019, be thankful, man. Be grateful for what you have. How about how about we make this a new year's resolution for 2019? All right. Have faith that everything will work out. Be consistent with whatever it is you try to do to better yourself. And last but not least, hard work is the foundation of everything. Faith, consistency, and hard work. Those three words, man. Follow those three words, and 2019 will be an amazing year for you. I wish y'all the best, cuz. Happy New Year's again. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Also, too, hit that bell symbol on the side. So anytime I make an upload, the notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, hit that like and share. I look forward to reading all y'all comments, if any. So until next time, y'all be safe for her, cuz. What are my thoughts on friend zones? Well, first, I'm going to start off by saying how I used to feel about it back when I first started chasing girls. Back then, I... Yeah, 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 I trying to see all that. Man, listen. Put, 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 put the video back on me. Faith, consistency, hard work. Man, listen. I don't came up, y'all. I ain't, I ain't even going to lie to y'all. I ain't going to hold y'all here too long. I didn't think this video was going to be too long. I was hoping it would be like 10, 15 minutes. I didn't think it was going to be this long. But y'all know how I get when I start monologuing. This video, <laughs> this video was hilarious, man. This video was hilarious. Man, listen. Like I said, Happy New Year. For 2023, we got to continue with the faith. We got to continue with the consistency. We got to continue with the hard work. Um. We gotta keep going. There's a lot of things that we need to fix in 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 our houses, let alone you know, of course, in the black community. But there's a lot of things we need to fix within ourselves, but a lot of things we need to fix within the black community too. But we just have to do the work to get it done. And if you're going to have people like me, if you're going to have people like you now, you know, that's active in the manosphere and stuff like that, that's actively trying to help, uh, you know, all of our people out. Eventually, we will get there. Eventually, we will get there, but you're going to need faith, and it has to be consistent, and it has to you, you have to be able to put that hard work in. So, I mean, wow, yeah, man, I, I'm I, I'm almost drew a damn tear to my eye, man. God damn.
God damn. Anyway, y'all, happy new year. Happy, happy, happy new year. Happy 2023. Um, I mean, wow. Um, I'm just thinking back, like, I I really, I really came from from nothing, man. Um wow. Yeah, man. Uh, I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Um you already heard the intro, so I ain't even gonna do the intro again. <laughs> let's check, let's let, let's go through these comments before before we get up out of here, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One second. Brand stuff for Get 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 up before we get up out of here. Let's 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 scroll let's scroll through these comments, man. I don't know who put these chapters. I don't. I never put these chapters in, so I don't know. If maybe YouTube. If this is a, a new feature with YouTube, I have no idea. But I never put these chapters in, so whatever. That's all good. Um, shout out to the homie Courtney, man. That's that's the that's 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 the homie, man. Sylvia, I remember her. Uh, Nia Knox, I remember her. Uh, Candy, shout out to her. Shout out to Rose. Me, me and Rose still be going back and forth at it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, I see her every now and then. You know what I'm saying? She'll, she'll pull up on me at my job. What's up? How you doing? What's going on? Arzu, I haven't seen her in a while. Shout out to the homie Krishad. You're in love. Oh, why, 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 why are these likes is not there? I don't know. I could, I could have swore I did it. Mariah, I remember her. KD Sins, we got another video dropping soon. Shout out to him. We got me and KD got another video dropping soon. Y'all be on the lookout for that. If I remember, I put the eye at the top for our old videos. Um, yeah, I don't know if I know who that is. A man, uh, ex, uh this is a, a, my homegirl Amanda. Shout out to her. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out, shout out to, shout out to all of them, man. Shout out to all these people. I don't know why my likes disappearing. I could have swore I liked everything, but all right, whatever. Um. 550 views man i haven't put a dollar into promotion it's crazy that that i that i made it this far three three point eight thousand subscribers man and it's only going up from here it's only going up from here y'all um beautiful 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 um I'm, I'm gonna get up out of here man anyway happy happy new year happy new year and i'm wishing everybody that's seeing this uh continued success i'm wishing everybody uh, you know, good luck on whatever your future endeavors are, uh, whatever it is, everlasting life, love, laughter, all that good stuff, man. I'm wishing wish nothing but the best for everyone that's seeing this. And people that's not seeing this, nothing but the best for y'all. As, as we leave 2022, um, you know, behind us, 2023 is in, in front of us. And uh, we're just going to keep our fingers crossed and just keep going again, man. Faith, consistency, and hard work. So. Um, thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell symbol on the side. Anytime I make an upload, notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that share. I look forward to meeting all y'all comments, if any. So, until next time, please, maybe safer, her, cub.